Good morning and happy Wednesday. I love Wellness Wednesdays. I love sharing what's in my heart to be able to express with all of you. And something that's been kind of consistent in the patterning of people I spend time with, also some clients that I'm working with, is needing to be reminded of a very, very, very important piece of our puzzle. So a lot of us, so in the healing process, as a medical intuitive, sometimes people think that I focus solely on diet, nutrition, to anchor in, to help the body heal. But the reality is, is there's so much of our lifestyle choices in general, how we process stress, how we're sleeping, our mindset that has so much to do with how our bodies can actually get traction and anchor in the healing process. It's so much bigger than the foods we put in. The foods we put into our body are critical for changing our vibrational state so that we can heal and we can have amazing healing processes. But the thoughts that we focus on, the energy we put out, the quality of life that we're choosing to create for ourselves is so critical when it comes to actually being able to heal. So one thing that I'm noticing a lot when it comes to some friends and also clientele that I have is this feeling of almost surprise when I'm asking them this question because they're thinking that they're in integrity and alignment with what it is that they want. So I'm going to ask you 150% to be real on it, like really honest with yourself, with whatever it is that you're wanting. And if you're surprised that you're not getting the outcome that you're wanting, are you in integrity and alignment with what you're focusing on your thoughts, with your beliefs, and spend some time really exploring these things. It's a really important part of our healing process is that we allow ourselves to be curious and honest. So it's very common for me if I ask someone like the specifics, let's say they're wanting to create a relationship, I'll ask them the specifics, like have they created like a, a why list that they want that? And they'll be like, yeah, 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 I did that. How long ago did you do that? And a lot of times people's ego kind of gets in the way because they've done it once and they feel like they should be done or they've done it three times and they feel like it should be done. There's no should be done. It's you do it until you don't need to do it anymore. That's kind of a really important thing to remember because based on where we've come from in our lives, our beliefs, traumas, how our body remembers and stores all this stuff, Oftentimes it takes a while to stop and shift and adjust frequency to be able to actually experience the changes that we're wanting to create for ourselves. Weight loss is a very common thing that I'll work with people on and they get so frustrated and they're like, my friend is losing so much weight. I'm not losing anything. All right, what's the energy you're putting out? What do you actually believe? How are you focusing? And oftentimes it comes down to dysfunctional mentality and where they're focusing their thoughts on and they're not even aware of this at all. So I'm going to invite you to look at whatever it is you're wanting to create in your life. Is it health? Is it wealth? Is it relationships? Is it what? You decide whatever it is that you want in your own life. And ask yourself, am I putting out the energy and hold yourself accountable to being curious about this. Am I putting out the energy that it is going to require for me to be able to be in harmony? Meaning if there was a bird on your shoulder and they could hear every little thing that you are saying, and let's say that bird's a messenger to the universe or however all this works, right? God, whatever it is that's out there that, that you resonate with. Let's say there's a bird on your shoulder and it can hear your mind. Is it getting messages from what you actually believe fundamentally that you can have and that you are creating what it is that you want for yourself? Do you feel in alignment with that? Pay attention. You're going to see more than not. It's very hard to stay connected to what it is that you organically really truly believe for yourself, meaning the energy that you're putting out oftentimes is not going to be congruent with what it is that you say that you want. So it's emotionally thinking about consistently every single day what it is that you're wanting but it's also asking yourself am i putting the energy out there to really connect and feel like i am able to manifest or to create or to receive a gift that it is that i might really really want 
And then are there any actions that I need to take to be able to support that process? So a lot of us are focused in a point of trauma from pain we've gone through, from things that we've tried in the past, and we're not really anchored up into the present moment. So we want to pay attention and make sure that you're not identifying things or committing to things in a way that aren't going to get you the outcome that you want. We want to make sure that you're not coming from a victimized standpoint. We want to make sure that you're not coming from a place that feels really negative or that um, allows you to focus in a way that doesn't let you feel like what it is that you actually want to create more and more for of yourself. So for example, if you're wanting to create a relationship, just using this as an example, what type of mindset are you focusing on? Will it happen for me? Okay, if you're focusing on will it happen for you, that makes me wonder if you actually believe it would happen for you. Are you focusing on the I am and it's going to? So it's going to happen. I am creating a healthy, loving relationship and I'm, I'm really trusting in perfect timing. It's a good thing to think about. If you can't connect to that, there's a reason for that. You want to break that down and you want to be able to figure that out. So you want to make sure you do the work that's underlying in that. That's not letting you focus on the confidence and knowing you're creating what it is that you want. This is the thing. Whatever you think about and you're focusing on your thought process about, your body activates as reality. So if you're saying, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that. So let's say you're wanting to create more money and you're saying, well, I'm a horrible money manager. And you hear yourself say that at all. That means there's at least 10 times the amount of thought processes that line up with that energetic process. So the first thing is, I am becoming an incredible money manager, right? By shifting that, if you're looking for a relationship, I am an incredible, attractive person. I am attracting an incredible relationship my way. So when you wake up and you're putting yourself out there, do you feel amazing? Do you feel like you're an attractor? Do you feel attractive? If not, what work do you need to do to break that stuff down? This is an incredibly powerful time around manifesting, around connecting, around allowing ourselves to have experiences and a quality of life and a quality of health that we've never experienced before. The glitch with the time frame that we're living in with energetics though, is it's based on intuitive kind of cellular memory and it's based on vibration. So what vibration is your body holding on to? Your body holds on to vibration from memories and things that it's lived in the past. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know there's a phrase that I use in my own process. It's called up until now. So if I say I am this and it's a negative, so I am a poor money manager, I am going to not say that. And I'll say up until now, I wasn't the best money manager, but I am learning and I am committing to doing it differently moving forward. And by doing that, it allows me to change where I've come from in the past because my body remembers trauma, beliefs, experiences it's gone through, and it's stuck in the process. We all have this. That's why we're, we're where we are in our lives. We all want something different to a certain degree. Very seldom will I find anybody that's completely content with exactly where they're at, whether it's physical health, financial health, relationship health, internal mental health. We're all working on something. So what's the negative and how can you say up until now, this is how it's been right there. That activates the cells in our body and says, oh, change is happening. And I'm committed to change. I'm committing to have change happen. That's what that means. Up until now, this is how I've done something and I'm committed to doing it differently moving forward. And this is the structure that I'm committing to doing it differently with. If you don't know how to do that, get help to learn how to break that down. But the thing that I wanted all of you to pay attention to today is what's the energy you're putting out into the world. And if you pay attention to the energy you're putting out into the world based on things that you're looking to create, you will start to find the glitches and you'll start to work with them in a more extensive way. The glitches are there. Pay attention to them. The biggest glitch I think a lot of us have is I've already done this or I'm putting a positive energy into the world. I'm sure you are, but are you putting it into the world in a way that will align the frequency of what you're wanting to create is a whole different ballgame. There's a lot of really positive people out there. And when they focus on creating for themselves, a lot of people get a lot of stuff that comes up. Um, that's my personal path. Um, I'm an incredibly giving person. Uh, most people would definitely say that, that know me. And the, the glitch for me was... Um, 
that I wasn't necessarily giving to myself. I was giving to other people, but I did not give to myself. So when I started doing this type of work that we're talking about to line up my frequency, to honor that I did want more, a lot of guilt came up, a lot of shame came up, a lot of old religious beliefs came up. And um, it's an awesome thing to learn how to break this stuff down. And that is the active part of our healing process. We have billions of cells in our body. They all, they all hold memory, they all hold trauma, they all hold old beliefs. And most of the stuff is what we've come from. So if we can honor that, not get stuck in it, up until now, this is how I've done it. Now I'm gonna learn how to do it differently. You're gonna have a lot of change in your life and be willing to change and be willing to open up your heart and be honest with yourself. Because if it was the way you think it is at a certain angle and you're thinking it's all okay, it would be different. You would feel differently. You wouldn't be watching up until 10 minutes of this video because this video is being, uh, you know, reminded to you or given to you as a curious connection of conscious living at a different angle. Our bodies remember where we've come from. Our bodies don't want to get hurt more. And it kind of is the way our ego protects us from moving forward and creating more. So as I was sharing, my personal glitch was I was very giving to other people. So if somebody said, what's the energy you're putting out to the world? I'm like, a ray of light, a ray of sunshine. What's the energy that I'm putting in for what I believe in or what I want to create or what I really want for myself? And it would kind of hit this silent stance of, I don't know. And then it'd be like, you're fine. You have more than most people have in the world. Be okay with that but I wasn't, right? I wanted to create no more. I knew I had more potential. And knowing that, and of course it still comes up. It's not like I'm done with it. It just still comes up. But it's understanding these things that a lot of people don't break down. So there's a lot of talk about manifestation in the spiritual world right now because it's a very vibrational, strong time. It's so vibrationally strong. It's nothing I've ever seen in 32 years of being a medical intuitive. This is a time of aligning our frequency and vibration to become uh, more connected to ourselves and give ourselves a voice, really listen to what we organically want. It's time to put those orders in. But then the question is, am I actually in alignment with what I'm putting out there? And that's where core healing comes up because we can process the trauma. We can move through the trauma. We can move through the beliefs. Up until now, this is where I've been and now I'm committing to making it different. How cool is that? That no matter how old you are today, no matter what you've gone through today, I want you to know you can do work to no longer define yourself in that way and become and create whatever your heart's desire is on any level. And that's healing. That's lining highest frequency up to receive more and more and more in life. We are these amazing spiritual beings sitting in these awesome physical bodies as we learn to care for them and nurture them, as we learn to process emotions that have been stuck, as we allow ourselves to really heal in a core way, the magic is untouchable right now. Oh, big hugs.